The newly appointed Minister for Sport, the Senator Kate Lundy, has been good enough to join us. Kate, congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. Great to be here tonight too. Minister for Sport, it sounds like the best job in the world. How did you feel when you first got told that this was going to be your portfolio? Yeah, look, elated. It's something, um, I have to be honest, I've aspired to it. I was the Shadow Minister for a long time, so just wonderful news. Uh, to be appointed by the Prime Minister right now, it's great. And what's your background? What's your background in sport? Uh, well, starting from being when I, from when I was a kid, I played a lot of netball and basketball. Um, started to row in my early 20s. So sort of went from the gym out onto the rowing course and had a lot of fun with that. And just more recently, you know, you hit 40 and think I better run more. So I've started playing soccer and hockey and a few other things. So yeah, lots of sport in my life, lots of sport for my kids too. And whereabouts do you live now? How do you get involved in sport there? Uh, well, I live in North Canberra, so the ACT is my electorate as a senator. And unfortunately um, in North Canberra, we're right in Sports Central, so Netball Centre's not far away, Hockey Centre's about five minutes away. <laughs> the playing ovals are just down the road. We've still got an outdoor pool in Dixon, which is lovely. So we think we're pretty lucky in Canberra. It's a city designed to play sport in. Might be a little bit chilly for an outdoor pool though, surely. Oh, look, I don't, I don't mind a bit of cold weather. I don't, <laughs> They certainly don't open up in the middle of winter, though. No, that's probably fair enough. Tell me this, though. Like, do you get to barrack for sides? Do you get to choose your sides, or do you have to be fairly neutral? Oh, look, I've been around too long not to declare my colours, and <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get away with ditching my teams now. So, no, I'm, I'm rusted on pretty much in all of the, the major codes, and I've got my favourites, too. Are you going to give us a little insight as to who they are? Are you going to play it close to your chest? No, no, I'm very happy to share. Um, let me start with the W League, the women's football. Canberra United, Premiers this year, we we're very proud of them. It's a very new league, and um, Canberra, of course, doesn't have an A-League side, so the women's team is our, you know, our territory team, so we we're very proud of them. Canberra Capitals, with their basketball, again, fantastic team, Brumbies in the rugby, Raiders in the um, rugby league, they've been around. I remember going to my first Raiders game when I was about 12 out at Seaford Oval in Queanbeyan, so that was fun. Um, I go to Melbourne Heart in the A-League and North Melbourne's my AFL team. North Melbourne, now North tell Melbourne. me, are you going for North Melbourne because they are North Melbourne or because it's north of Melbourne and the closest you can get to Canberra? <laughs> Good question. Um, goes back to when I was in fifth grade and North Melbourne 78, 79 were doing quite well and I think I knitted myself a blue and white scarf and I've been rusted on ever since. Well they did the world a favour by betting Collingwood in 77 grand final so that's not bad either. I think that was probably what got me. <laughs> but when it comes to national sports obviously you get to support Australia and be involved in a lot of the yeah. national sporting bodies which is fantastic. Oh look it's true and I, I I mentioned hockey before and I can't go past mentioning the, the Lakers and Strikers which are our state teams but the Hockey Roos and Kookaburras are a great example of national teams that have gone from strength to strength over you know a number of generations now and we just see that sport being renewed and strengthened all of the time so it's a great example of a high participation sport where our national teams consistently are the world's best. I must say it's a good time to become the Minister for Sport in an Olympic year as well. Do you get to go to London and represent Australia? Well that was one of the first questions I was asked <laughs> and you know being no mug I said yes so I'm, I'm excited about that. I, I went to a couple of events at the Sydney Olympics but the rest of it's you know great for TV viewing which is my Olympic experience which has been wonderful but now yes I, I'm, I'm hoping to get there. Regardless of whoever anyone barracks for or votes for, they just love people with passion and obviously you've got a passion for sport. Congratulations, we look forward to seeing you a lot in the future. Thanks and it's great to be here at the cricket tonight. It's a lovely match, lovely evening here in Adelaide.